Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is the Turtle Girl. Today when I'm filming this, it's Water Change Wednesday. And so I thought it'd be a good idea just while I'm doing a water change, when I will be doing a water change, to talk about like maintenance of turtle tanks and what you need to do day in, day out, and on a weekly and even monthly basis in order to keep your turtle healthy, to keep your tank clean, and to keep everything smoothly. So one of the things that you might notice is that after a while, after you have your tank running and set up, is that because you probably don't have a lid on your tank, like at least a glass lid that can hold in the moisture in the water, you might notice that there will be evaporation and the water level will eventually start going down. This is just after a week and a half. And this is definitely something you have to watch out for because the basking area, especially if it's an above tank basking area, once the water level gets too low, they won't be able to climb up the ramp in order to bask because there's no water to like help them get up the ramp. And so when you notice that your water level starts going down, then you just have to top off your water. And so what I do is I just, oh, that's really sad, this bucket's broken. <laughs> but I just have this, like a one gallon bucket here, ignore that it's Easter eggs, and also my dechlorinator. And whenever I notice that the water level is low like this, what you have to do is just fill up your bucket or whatever with water and top off the water until it's to the appropriate height or depth or whatever. So topping up water is one of the things you have to do is, and this will vary based on the temperature of your water, based on what temperature you keep your home at, it'll cause different rates of evaporation. But just whenever you notice that the water level is too low, definitely fill that up so that your turtle can bask. Another thing is algae. So you might see here that I have lots and lots of brown diatom algae or brown spot algae on the glass and also on the back glass and then some black beard algae, I think it's black beard algae, on the rock. And this is either caused by too much nutrients in the water or probably in my case what it is, is an imbalance of lighting. And so, I mean, it's kind of a given that you're gonna have algae. So what I do is just when it starts getting unsightly, is I have this cool magnet thing and I can just use it to scrape off the algae off of the glass for the rocks you actually have to take them off so I don't really worry too much about the rocks because it's not that big of a deal to me and I like to do this before I do a water change because what happens is the algae though some of it does get killed by scraping it off most of it just goes back into the water and it can still survive and then a couple hours later it will just come back and stick on the glass so by doing it before you do a water change and then you change out that water, you're actually removing some of that algae from the environment as well as removing some nutrients from the water that would be causing the algae. And that brings me to the next point which is water changes. So water changes are basically a fact of life when you're in an aquarium in most cases. Because turtles are messy and even though you hopefully have a big filter, you will have to change water in order to remove some of the waste in the water and you can see here, I'm gonna do it in just a second. It's really fun. You can have this siphon, and basically how this works is it just goes in the aquarium and sucks the water out, and you can also use it to suck debris out. And this is to remove nutrients from the water and to just put fresh stuff in there and keep the water clean and stuff like that. That was a very terrible explanation of water changes. This will depend on your aquarium, the size of your aquarium, what type of turtle you have in there, if you have any other fish in there. Because it just depends on how much waste is in that aquarium and how much it is diluted by the water. But for me, once the tank is established and what that means is the waste levels are not fluctuating and there's enough bacteria in there to break down the waste. And once it's stable and that cycle is going, I usually have to change about 30 to 50% of the water every month and a half-ish. One to one and a half months for me. But it's a good idea to, when you're first getting your aquarium started and you don't know what your routine needs to be, is to get a test kit. Now there are both liquid test kits and strips and strips are definitely easier but I just use the liquid one because it's supposedly more reliable but just use that to see how much nitrates are in your aquarium you can use this to see how much nitrates are in your aquarium and then based on that once it gets to a higher level like 40 points per million is the term that they use then you can start changing water until it gets back down to a reasonable level and so a test kit is a good way to determine how much water 
you will need to be changing because it really does vary. And it depends on your tank, so just do what works for you. But when you're doing a water change, it's a good idea to take your turtle out of the aquarium and put them in a separate bin because it can stress them out just being in there with the water siphon and it's just easier to actually just take them out in order to reduce that stress that he might have experienced if he was in there while the water changing was happening. And one thing you need to make sure when you are doing a water change is unplug your heater and filter because the filter obviously will stop working once there's water not entering the intake pipe. So unplug your filter and then also you'll have to unplug your heater because if you leave the heater on while there's like no water surrounding it, it can actually explode. So you don't want an exploding heater, just unplug your heater when you are doing a water change and unplug your filter. And for the filter, you do have to actually service your filter because it will accumulate lots of waste and poop and uneaten food and all sorts of gross things. And the best way to do this is you want to do it in a way that preserves that bacteria on there that is processing the waste. So, when you're doing a water change, you will have your bucket full of tank water that you just changed. And so there's the tank water in there. You take out the media in your filter, and then you can just kind of rinse it out in the bucket. And what that does is because that's the tank water, it won't kill the bacteria as if you used tap water and killing your bacteria can be a really bad thing it can cause ammonia spikes now to be honest turtles aren't like that sensitive to water quality like as much as fish are because they're reptiles and they don't breathe it and all that stuff but it still affects them to a certain degree so you want to try to preserve as much of that beneficial bacteria as you can in order to prevent stress to your turtle and especially if you have fish to prevent your fish from potentially dying and another thing one more thing, last thing. This is my tip of the day. So this is a turkey baster. And you might be wondering what the heck is that used for normally? Well, this is the thing that they use to like suck the juices out of the bottom of the turkey. But this is a very handy dandy tool for aquariums. Basically when you squeeze this soft end over here, that forces air out. And then when you release it, water will enter the tube. And this is a great thing to actually spot clean and just pick up like little areas where waste or uneaten food tends to accumulate and so that way you can reduce the amount of waste that's just sitting there decaying in the aquarium. So this is a very great thing to have. So turkey baster, you should definitely get one. So I think that's pretty much everything about maintenance. I am going to go change the water right now. And also as a side note, we've hit 1k subscribers so I should be doing a giveaway soon. Thank you guys so much for 1000 subscribers, keep an eye out for that giveaway. So also hit that notification bell if you want to see that and be a part of that because that's going to be super cool. So hit the notification bell. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video on Friday or maybe sooner.